I get quite a few questions about litter life. So today, we're gonna to talk about why let it sit and how to spray it. We've got a couple of videos about our litter life product on this channel. You can go back, uh, there's one of them that goes back as far as three or four years ago. So, but in all the videos we've done, I realize there's one thing I do not talk about. The instructions say to let it sit. So I get people to say, hey, do I have to let it sit in the water? Okay, the answer is no, you don't have to. Why is it on the instructions? Well, because you can get a better, better benefit from it. So let me explain why the little bit of a disconnect. So there are 14 strains of beneficial bacteria in litter life. Now, uh, if you're kind of new to litter life, you may not know this, but our main thing is decomposition of the litter. We accelerate decomposition. We're not trying to change the pH and lower the ammonia just because the pH is lower until the first bird comes in and poops on the floor. Now your pH starts coming back. So we're trying to accelerate decomposition of the litter. There's a lot of things that we have that do that. First of all, we've got high carbon count. Carbon to nitrogen ratio is crucial in composting. Uh, number two is the organic acid called fulvic acid, which actually provides oxygen. It's why people, number one comment people say is why it really dries out the litter. The organic acid is a big part of that. But the last one is the bacteria that's in there. And in this antibiotic free environment these days, there's challenges all over. And we are beginning to realize that the importance, how important it is to keep a healthy floor. Well, the way you do battle against bad bacteria is through competitive exclusion by outcompeting the bad bacteria. That's our whole premise. It has been long before antibiotic-free uh, environment came about. So the reason we say let it sit is because, for numbers sake, let's just say there is a million bacteria. When, you, when it hits the water, so whenever you pour it in there and it hits the water, the bacteria come in a vegetative state. Okay, when they hit that water, they begin to wake up and do what bacteria do, divide and multiply. So what happens is if you could let it sit an hour, you will increase more bacteria. We've even found that up to 24 hours, you could increase the bacteria load, the bacteria population by as much as 10 times. So instead of buying 10 times the product, just let it sit in your mic in your spray tank for about 40 for about 24 hours and you'll get an even greater population and that's the strategy for out competing bad bacteria the more bacteria you can get in there now the fact is many of you don't have that much time and it is just as effective with the bacteria that's in there putting it in the water and getting it out so i hope that answers the question about well do i have to let it sit no you don't but if you want a bigger bang for your buck, hour, four hours, five hours. The second question I get a lot is, how do I spray it? Well, as I said on a previous video, you can use a squirt gun, it just take you forever. So it really doesn't matter. In fact, I've got some footage here that we're gonna show you on how to use even a 250 gallon tote, or you could use a 55 gallon drum, and basically gravity feed into that pressure washer that you would pull behind a, a, uh, a tractor or four-wheeler on a trailer and then just have somebody spray with a wand. Open that, open that nozzle up, get it out. You could actually spray a 40 by 500 square foot house in about 10, 15 minutes if you had about 100 gallons in that 250 gallon tote and just spray it in there. And every one of you probably have a pressure washer. But you can use anything off the back of a four-wheeler. You could use a 500-gallon pressure uh, uh, house washer. But one of the things people are starting to use, and it's pretty handy, is because everybody can get a hold of a 55-gallon drum, lay it down on the side, spray half a house. If you got a 40 by 500 square foot house, you got 10 gallons mixed with 90 gallons of water to spray that house. 50-gallon drum, you could knock out half of it. So hope that helps. There's a couple of big questions people ask me a lot. Why do I let it sit? Should I let it sit? And what if I don't have a big sprayer? I don't want to go around with a hand pump kind of spray everything. 
So I hope those help. A little bit of insight on litter life. Uh, if you've got any questions about this, feel free to give me a call. 1-800-608-3755 or allen at southlandorganics.com.